Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here. Got another Star Trek Ships of the Line calendar 2018. This is this year's at the time of um, recording. So this, I've actually, with this one, we, I had a problem with the last, um, what's the last episode with the calendars? I had a problem because the UK and the American versions kind of branch off because Universe take over the decent one. Or they've been running it and there's been a second one which is apparently an official but show you last year's pictures. Bit of a rip off. But um not happy with that. But I've had to this actually just came just in time for this video. So I've had to get it imported from America, even though it should have been sent well, it should have been last year's, but never really picked up and I got the same calendar twice, two years running, even though they got different dates on. So 2018, let's start off with <clears throat> the Enterprise D. And looks like a Miranda class. Don't know what type, what ship that is. Can't really tell too much. But they're obviously escaping from a Borg Armada. They're all coming in to try and cut them up and use their technology to assimilate. Should we have a quick look at the... I'll come closer for you. It'll focus in on what the, um, the ship is. I'm not sure, you know. I mean, I'm not sure. Can't fully tell because my eyes are absolutely shocking. We might be able to tell there. It's definitely a, a Miranda class. So this one's the um, proper landscape format, which is good. So let's get on with January. And we should stop tapping it. Starts off with these are the voyages. That's straight. We have what looks like an Argo shuttle. Coming close to, yeah, the Enterprise. Okay, that's the Constitution Enterprise original. Looks like our moon. It's got to be Earth. I don't know. I don't know how they would. It, it, obviously, most of these are fantasy anyway. Nothing that could actually be in a, an episode. Time travel, wibbly wobbly, and all that sort of stuff. And really good. It, it's a flat detail on this. You can't tell paneling. Can't tell line markings. It looks very much like the original, original series ship sh should be. While being docked by either an Argo shuttle from Next Generation, well, movie of Next Generation era, or kind of looks a bit like the JJ reboot version shuttlecrafts. But I quite like that big dome on there for the, um, for the side lightings as well. And you don't really notice much, the uh, red lights on the side of the, the bridge dome either. And good lighting on these. We've got different shading of what would be internal lighting. I really like that. It's a nice picture of that. Yeah. Let's go on to February now. Now... Parallels. That was the next generation episode where they found tons and tons of different uh, Enterprise Ds just popping in. They were a wharf episode. He um, crossed through something. Obviously, wharfs on that shuttlecraft trying to find the right Enterprise to to go on to go back home. There was a problem with um, was it spatial, whatever wibbly wobbly thing. Yeah. He'd gone through something and it came out the other side on a different ship and it kept fragmenting because he was scanning for something with it, I think, possibly, and then he just opened up the rift and there's, there's thousands and thousands of, of galaxy-class ships. I bet you there's more on here, you know, I don't even know. Well, that's the one that way. You can look into this and go mad seeing all the different galaxy-class and try to find a different ship. But I think they're all standard-issue galaxy-class enterprises. Good detail on it. It took ages to to map all this like that and, and do this. I mean, a lot of the smaller stuff, they probably repeated certain bits, flip round. It's like finding, spot the spot the difference. Rotate pictures, pace, 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 but very, very good. Some ex massively excellent detail. Do like that. Get on to March. Okay, the send-off. United States Air Force. Looks like the, um, I don't know. And the Enterprise is obviously on its way out from um, 20th century. 
And you've got the end all these ships. It's hard to figure out the perspective on this because the, the Enterprise is such a big ship. And you've got all these Air Force ships going up to it, and the black ones are on the opposite side. I'm sure there's a an Air Force display team for the US Air Force. I do not know of. I do not too much about the um the United States Air Force. I do apologize, any of my American viewers, but I just don't know. It's not the sort of thing that I um regularly check up on to be honest. I know the, the British version is the Red Arrows. But back then I don't know if that's a is that a nowadays picture? Are they nowadays planes or are they from the sixties? I don't I just don't know, honestly. Look a bit like Hornets but I don't I'm not hundred percent certain. Hmm. And somebody with a Thunderbird on the back. That's the other Thunderbirds, obviously. Do you know? There will be the same logo. Okay. On to April. Now that's a different ship. That's very much. Ooh. That's Angel's Gate. It's an asteroid feel of some kind. Maybe a ring, possibly something. Orbiting a black hole, possibly the debris floating around it. You got two battle cruisers, Klingon battle cruisers there, but the ship itself, NCC nine seven double O, can't tell. And the Hornet, okay. And this one's exactly the same ship. You've got this cut off on the back of the um, the saucer section there, which is really odd, but it is a refit version saucer, same bridge. Because underneath here, you got, if you notice there, that blue line, that blue ring will go the full width around it, like the Enterprise B, the Excelsior class. So that's an interesting marry-up of, um, of between eras, that one. Kind of possibly maybe the um, Star Trek 3 sort of era, 4, redesigning the sources. You've got 9701 over there, so it's obviously the follow-on from the Hornet. Can't tell at all on what what name it's supposed to be, but that's fine. Gives us a bit of imagination. Love the work on the asteroids on here. Hmm. Looks like we're all at peace. Everybody's happy. Everybody's patrolling nicely. May. Title this one, Better Days. Looks like the Enterprise is over overviewing the um, refit of the USS Reliant 1864 the cell being obviously put back on it's amazing seeing stuff like this and then seeing stuff like how it would possibly connect to the rest of the ship and be pretty much solidly on the Enterprise <coughs> refit in the background there just, just watching over Everything's fine. Guess me how this is supposed to be a science vessel, but you've got two torpedo, torpedo launchers there and two in the back. Two phaser cannons on here, and I probably bet you there's, they're on the back as well. And also phasers, three sets on the bottom, three sets on the top. So why is this a science vessel, the Miranda class? Why were they on a a mission, the, um, the Reliant, with Captain Terrell and Chekhov? Fun fact for that for the um, for the Star Trek Two with the Reliant, there was um, oh the communications officer. He was the one of the transporter chiefs in the original series. He was also in the Mirror Mirror universe. Mister Kyle, uh, Commander Kyle, Lieutenant Kyle. Spock, the mirror Spock, asked him for his agonizer. So, yeah, fun fact he was comms officer on the Reliant June. Now that's different again. It's the font on the um, on the front of the saucer which gets me. I mean, we never had this bit here. The red, red lines came straight back. We also didn't have a blue impulse. Um, crystal there or some or whatever that's supposed to be subtle differences 
I mean, these red lines came straight back to what that was, which was painted in black. But it's kind of like a refit, maybe year four. But again, gone back in time again, because we've got the Air Force. And I'll probably guess this is um, possibly area 31, well, 51, 31, section 31, isn't it? We want it brought down. Okay. Seeing as things in the future don't work the same as in the past, it didn't really, that wouldn't have brought it down. So we're on June. Let's have a look at the centre section, shall we? Oh, hello. It's the USS, oh, not the flanks, is it? It's the, the flanks class. Starship flanks. Is it flanks? Phalanx, yes. I think, I could be mistaken, but isn't that the Enterprise F? What people kind of put on for it, for what that should be. Now, saying that commissioned in 48388, which is kind of same timeline as um, the Generations, maybe the just after, first series of Voyager maybe. It's quite a big ship compared to the um, size of the Galaxy class. It's just a little bit shorter. It's a heavy cruiser. I do love these sort of pictures. It's completely strip the ship down with everything. It's like this section on the back of here is just purely a torpedo launcher, number eight. After peel launcher. Surprisingly, since it's the same nearly sizes as the uh, Galaxy class. The rear back end here is a very small shuttle bay, unless it's a massive shuttle. I think it is, it's a massive shuttle. It's a, it's a runabout class. If you've got them up here as well, you've got different class of shuttles up here. So you've got second deck of shuttles. So your bay might be there and they come in and they'll be lowered down to this deck maybe. So it's amazing when you look at the, um, the photos of, of what people have done what what would have been inside the Galaxy class, and you've got the rear shuttle bay, which we never saw. It's kind of here, a sort of section, and it's it's fully comes out of the back of the bridge, and it, it's just the whole section is just completely filled in with the shuttle bay, and it goes down and round everything. It's an amazing bit of stuff we could never use, they never showed, which is a shame, really. Right. We have there, follow me, it says, Rio Grande, the defiant following, I don't know what station this is meant to be, it's obviously a Federation station, but a circular one as well. Docking clamps possibly, I don't know, this is really interesting. And obviously they're just flying around being chased around, it's, it's kind of a, a, I wouldn't say Deep Space Nine. But with this bit coming up here and curving round, you would kind of think it was a re reimagining of the Deep Space Nine station. Or does that come down now? Because you dealt your insignias that way around. So it would be kind of that way around. But then the uh, ships look up. Define looks all right, but I think I can zoom out enough to get this fully and properly on that way around. I think you have to just turn your heads to see it the other way around. It looks like you got inside here, have you got? Can't the cargo bays or cargo contain containers or what? A really good study of that one. There's another one over here as well. Looks the same as. Hmm. Okay. August. So we're coming back out of the year now. It looks like a... I don't know. Is it a demolition crew? Is it a rebuild crew? The, the um, runabout class have an extra pods on the back of it. Section there raising the um, bridge top section off. Exposing the bridge. I mean, it must be a demolition squad taking this off the uh, planet. Verenda. 
of Viridian Verenda. It's a sunset of Viridian. Viridian 3 or Viridian 4 that they crash landed on. I think it was Viridian 3. The Star Trek Generations episode, uh, film. It's really different that. You don't see that sort of. Yeah, they need to tidy up after they've just crash landed on a planet which they could be found. So you say here, the um, shuttle bay is here. You'd see this bit, that's all you'd see inside it when the door was brought up. But behind here, all this section which go, which is the raised up section, was all the shuttle bay. It was a bit stored all over. If you lose the, um, I went to the stage nine game, which is the recre recreation of the Enterprise D, which has been, um, yeah, been stopped by CBS. If you manage to get a copy, you can actually use the shuttle bay, and it's a massive, massive area. It's amazing to walk around in it. I think I'll keep my cock on the computer. September. Now, what are you? I would have said that this would be a strange crossover between 2001 and Star Trek. So you can see the reflection in the monolith. You can see behind with the galaxy. But you've got these cracks along it. I don't know. The monolith in 2001 never had cracks in it. It was completely featureless. It was perfectly smooth. And the dimensions were, was it five by one by nine, the dimensions, something like that. It's exactly the same as the Tycho monolith. But that's a different, that's 2001, that's, yeah. Stanley Kubrick film. Brilliant, good book to read, to be honest. Very confusing to watch the film without reading the book. But, um, yeah. Just a big block. Over Jupiter. And you can see there the rings of Jupiter. They've got such a faint ring system on Jupiter. And you don't really know about it. You don't really see much of it with the Voyager probes. And into October. We have a ship. We have an NCC one. Oh goodness, don't know. A dish best served cold. Now, where else are we showing Starship USS? Oh, come on! I can't tell that one at all. And you see, it's just there. Can't make it out myself. Nautilus, and I don't, I don't know. I can't tell. It's an ambassador class anyway. The shuttlecraft, whatever one zero five three five is. Want a bit of shuttlecraft to say it there as well. Da 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 da. Still can't make it out. Oh well, you can use glasses this time, I think. Yeah, but underneath section of the uh, ambassador class there, coming to a. Um, Star bit, not star base, a um, space then space station research station like regular one, but with two Klingon battle cruisers. Just having a visit. Maybe they just want something mecking. Maybe they're going to blow it up. Klingons are off the. Um, yeah, it's a port core or something. It's not starboard bow, is it? I'm really good. That it's got some good detail on that. I like that. November. Right. Oh, for to say, yeah, spoilers. <clears throat> Just in case this is on your wall now and you haven't actually looked at it. Yeah, Vulcan diplomatic escort with the Enterprise D there. Shame they don't do Oh hello, that's backwards for no reason. But it's a shame they don't do different ships. Just like, because there was a galaxy on this, there was the Yamato, there was, must have been a dozen other galaxy class ships. And I think we've had that one on the um, on the Eagle Moss. It, it, it was really, really small, it was odd, because there was too much length on it, and they just it just didn't 
inspire you when you when you saw it. it just looked really small tiny little model they must be leaving I said this must be Vulcan the Enterprise in es escort duty for November for next month so yeah and finally for 2018 if you don't want to know what's for Christmas look away now Wow Stellar Survey. Now this to me looks like a collapsing, is it a collapsing star? Or a massive star just sucking all the surface off of this star here. Or maybe super eating a, ga a, a gas giant. Ripping off everything off it just to feed the parent star. Now this to me looks, actually I was going to say it looks like the... The Enterprise E, but it isn't. If you look on here, you've got the nacelle there, which doesn't look like the Enterprise E nacelle. But you've got a second part underneath here, unless I've got it completely wrong. These are very forward. It's a different class of ship, then, too. Yeah, there's a big dome on the back here, like an observation. Is that the. No, it's not the, um, is it? No, it's not. Let's have it that class. Top of the launchers in the back. It does look different. It's on the Enterprise E sort of class, sort of style. It's definitely not Enterprise E. It's down there anyway. Anybody can make that out. Good look. Oh, it looks warm. It makes me feel warm, that picture. I like that. I really do. Some amazing colours. I don't know what ship that is at all. Not got a clue. Let's put this one in for you. See if you can tell. Really don't know. All right, while I'm here, let's try and zoom in on the... Um, where are we? There we are. If you can tell that, I'll be impressed. But yeah, amazing ideas on these, on these calendars. I do really like these. So let's go to the back cover. Recap on the back. For each one of the months, including the uh, centre section there, so I've given us 13 decent photos, and then including the 14th, which is there. So. That is 2018 over and done with. So, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe me. Please follow me on whatever, and, and you should know the routine. If not, consider donating on Patreon. Not much on there. I've got rewards on Patreon as well. So, if you want to be a long term subscriber, then I can bribe you with that. Or just leave me a comment, tell me how good, bad you thought the video was. And I'll see you later in the next video. Bye bye for now.